Leos! Subscribe! What up, players? Warboss Tay up in this mood. I thought I'd do a Warboss tutorial on how I am doing my Blood Angel Scouts. <coughs> Sorry, I got stuck in my throat. Um, so, if you want to paint up some close combat scouts, like I've got mine armed with combat blades and bolt pistols, then just follow this war boss tutorial. Here's my sergeant, he's got a power fist and a combi flamer. So when they get behind enemy lines at the beginning of the game, they can put that nice flame template over whatever, whatever he can. <clears throat> uh, he has his combat blade on his back. Let's see what else, what else, what else, what else. Oh yeah, Death Company shoulder pad with the little Blood Angels trinkets hanging off of it. And another Blood Angels shoulder pad. Blood Angels iconography is all scratched up. I was trying to do a Blood Angels symbol and uh, it got all messed up and then I was just like, ah, I'll just scratch it off. And then, I don't know what happened. I'm probably going to try to repaint it, redo over it, so at least you could see the, the wing blood drop underneath it. but. I think for now it'll be okay. They've been fighting for how many months in harsh, inhospitable terrain and there's a big explosion that he caught most of it on his shoulder pad. Leave me alone! I'm working hard. Okay, so, <clears throat> first thing you're gonna need to do is undercoat your model. I used a blood red, or a dragon red, I'm sorry, dragon red spray from Army Painter. And this is how it came out. And then I put a little bit of Talarn flesh on the face. The face is the only part of the model where you're going to see skin, so you're going to want to get nice, smooth, even coverage with that. Then the next thing I'm going to do, so I don't have to worry about it at the end of the model, is I am going to base him. So what I do is I just take some regular white all-purpose glue, uh, Elmer's glue in America or, you know, whatever this is from Ross, and put it on the base and then cover it with your favorite basing material. <coughs> Sorry. And when we are done with that, you're gonna, uh, while that's drying, we're gonna paint up the rest of the model. Okay, so I uh, will see you when my model is based. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our Chaos Black paint and we're gonna paint all of the metal and black areas on the model. So, looking from the bottom, we're gonna paint his boots black. We are gonna paint the buckle on his belt, black. Any grenades on his body, we're gonna paint black. We're gonna paint the chest crest, black. These two tubes on either side <coughs> above the, the chest crest, we're gonna paint those black. We're gonna paint his headset black. We're gonna paint the hair black. I like to paint the hair black first, and then if I'm gonna change it up and make it brown hair or blonde hair, then I can do that better off of a black base than without the red undercoat showing through. Definitely the combat blade is going to be black. The skull insignia on the two arm guards are going to be black. The entire bolt pistol, everything about it. The back grill for his armor. Uh, the headset, if I didn't mention that. can't remember. And that's it. Oh, and this little vent out the small of his back. So I am going to do that, and then I will show you what that looks like when we come back. Alright, so let's take a look at our Marine Scout. He's, you can see he's got black on all the blacks and metals. And just want to show you so you can follow along at home with your own Scouts. I also painted the little buttons on his back panel. Don't know what those are, but I painted those black as well. And what else? Oh yeah, what I'm also going to do is some of these scouts on their legs, you'll notice that they've got like a little, a tiny little strap with what looks like a shell casing or a bullet casing or something just strapped to their legs. So what uh, I, I'm going to see that as the fluff in my, in my, in my, in my army is that it's the shell casing of their first kill. So, <laughs> so Either, sim either the real one or s symbolically the um, one to commemorate their first kill. They've collected it and they strap it to their leg for good luck. And I think that's pretty cool and I think it's pretty fluffy. So I'm also going to paint that black 
as well, and then I'm gonna paint over that with bolt gun metal when we get to it. But now, let's go to the next step in the process, which is the pants, the legs. So we're gonna paint the pants with Kemri Brown foundation paint that we use a lot, and we are going to paint the, everything except for, don't paint the straps that go for the, the holster or the pouches and don't paint the the cod piece in the center but let me show you my one of my finished models so you're going to be painting just the legging parts and here's what the back would look like so you don't want to paint the strap for the holster you don't want to paint anything else just the leggings okay so camry brown and we'll get it to look like that nice dark and oily color through washes later, but for now we're just going to be painting the base color, Kenry Brown, on the pants. Also, while you're doing that, you might, I might as well give you another step as well. The sleeves, we are going to paint with Deneb Stone, which is a Citadel Foundation paint, and we want the sleeves to be just from the shoulder to the arm guard. Okay, no, we're not going to paint the gloves, we're not going to paint the... Um, any of the small armored pl plates on the gauntlet and just the arm sleeves is going to be denim stone and the fingers of the gloves while we're on the arms we're going to be painting those Kemri Brown as well so let's get all the Kemri Brown stuff out of the way pants, fingers, uh, the gloves, Kemri Brown and sleeves of the shirt, denim stone okay, we'll see you when that's done All right, the next thing we're gonna do is paint all of the pouches Caradon granite. So any pouches on the body, you will paint Caradon granite. It's a foundation color. And you're also gonna paint the straps on the legs that are hooking the holster to the leg. Caradon granite, okay? And that is a Citadel foundation color. And also, at the same time, if your base is dry at this point, you can also put the carrot and granite on the base because that's going to be our base color for for the base. So carrot and granite on the pouches and on the base. Hey, one thing I forgot to, forgot to mention were these straps on the arm guards. I painted them Kemri Brown along with the fingers of the gloves. Okay, so now that we've got our cloth and just about everything, different colors other than the red armor, which we're gonna do in a little bit, done. We are gonna go on to the metallics. So for metals, we're gonna paint the tubes above the chest crest. We're gonna paint the headsets. We're gonna paint all the metal parts of the bolt pistol, like the barrel, the clip, the metal part at the back of the gun, the, um, what you call that, that pistol grip. The center part of the of the scopes for the bolt pistols as well as the belt buckle the buckle just the buckle part on the strap for the leg you don't want to part paint the middle part because that's the belt and if you want to get really into it then you can go for all the little buttons on the pouches you also want to paint the skulls on the arm guards the back grill and the back piping as well as the combat blade. So let me show you a finished model to show you what I mean. So as you can see, he's got the headset, the tubing, the metallics on the bolt pistol, belt buckle, the buckle on the leg, and the combat blade and the skulls on the arm guards, as well as the grill and this back vent. Okay, so we will see you when that is done. Alright, so as you can see, I also painted the scope of this guy's bolt pistol. I used some blues, so I think it was regal blue, and then in crescents I used hawk turquoise, ice blue, and then space was gray, and then a little dot of skull white in the upper corner there. Let's take a look at our guy now. Um, oh, I forgot to do his headset in bolt gun metal, but I'll, I'll do that in just a second. Everything else is, all the metallics are painted. So 
So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take Bad at Black and we are going to wash everything except the armor. So the pouches, the pants, the medals of the bolt pistol, the metal all over the body, and um, oh and not the face either. With the face you're going to wash with ochre and flesh. The combat blade you're going to do Bad at Black so we're going to give everything a kind of dirty washed feel and the grenades as well. You're also if I didn't point out earlier, the straps on the arm guards are gonna paint Camry Brown, like the gloves. I think I might have said that. I don't know. It's been <laughs> it's been a it's been a long day. Okay, so I'll see you when the Bat of Black and the Ogren Flesh Wash are complete. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is optional, but if you want, you can re-highlight the pants and the pouches to uh, take away the dirty look. And I did that with some of these guys just to make their their slacks pop a little bit more. I re-highlighted with Camry Brown. So not too much of a highlight there, but and, and the patches with carrot and granite, but it, it is something. So that's an option for you to follow, if not. Then the next step we're gonna do is we're going to edge the armor plates with blazing orange. So you're gonna take blazing orange and you're going to highlight up the armor plates, the edges like by the shoulder pads, the arm guards, the, the hand guards, the edges of the chest plate right at the bottom there, the sides of the torso piece, and the backpack, the little scout backpack as well. So find any hard edges and use blazing orange for those. So we'll see you when that's done. Okay, while I was highlighting of the legs, I also took the opportunity to use the Kemri Brown for the base, the rim of the base, as I was working up the pants again. And when I was working with the blazing orange, now is also the time while after you've finished line highlighting, or even while you're doing it, to find places where you want the armor chipping if you're going for a weathered, battered, battle-hardened look for your Space Marine Scouts. This is how I do it. I take the blazing orange and then I mark out where in the lines when I do my edge highlighting where I want to have the battle damage, the chipped armor effect. And so I will kind of be random about it, but I'll highlight in random splotchy areas. So once you're done with that, the second part of how you're going to make your battle damage obvious is you're going to take Keridin Granite, or Charidin Granite, however you pronounce it, and you are going to paint in some of those splotches. So you want it to be pretty random as the armor chipped effect isn't, doesn't have, you know, a real set pattern to it. But let me show you what I, uh, one example of one of my finished scouts. So as you can see, I painted in the chips very randomly and I painted in the lines of the blazing orange and it gives the effect that some parts of the armor are more chipped and worn than others and the great thing about highlighting it with the orange is that it draws your eye to it a little bit more than just if you were to go with the chariot and granite okay let me show you one more So pretty much on the, the rims and the edges, any hard edges of your armor, but also you could put some inside or in the inner parts of the armor, like here in the back plate. So that's Chariot and Granite for the chipped armor effect, and we'll see you back when that is done. So here is my Battle Damage Space Marine Scout. I think it turned out pretty well. I also re-highlighted up his face using Talarn Flesh and then a little bit of Denim Stone mixed in to get the the um, you know the highlights done pretty well. And just to show how tired these scouts are, I took a little bit of Leviathan Purple and I washed it into the bottom eyelids. What this does is it allows you to not have to worry too much about too much about coloring the eyes. I mean, if you really want to go in and, and get the fine detail in, then 
you can color in the eyes, but what the Leviathan Purple does for you is it it shades into the eye sockets, it gives a very tired, worn out look, and it allows you to not have to worry about painting in the eyes because there's already some shading in there. So from far away, from table distance, you won't be able to tell that you didn't put in the the work to really get into the that tiny little areas for the eyes, which, you know, it, all the Space Marine Scout heads are squinting anyway, so it doesn't really make too much sense to me. They're, they're all gonna come out looking bug-eyed. Um, if you're if you if you if you paint as you know as as I do, which every time I tried to paint in these Space Marine Scout eyes, they came out looking really bug-eyed. The little light by his headpiece, I decided to paint in a yellowish color to offset the armor, and also because I'm using blue for the scope of the bolt pistol, and because I just got done playing Deus Ex for a PS3, and this orangey yellow color is a very predominant theme throughout the game, so I thought it. Do a little homage to it there. That is pretty much it, I think. I also re-highlighted up the sleeves with Deneb Stone. I don't know what else there is to do. Oh yeah, let's paint the hair. Let's let's do a little painting uh, of the hair. I'm gonna paint the hair blonde. If you want to stay tuned for that, um, I, I was I, I was gonna do a War Boss tutorial on how to how to paint blonde hair. So stay tuned for that and. And then um, after that's done, we'll show you the finished model, and I'll show you a little bit on how to do the basing so that it gives him a, that red planet feel that my Blood Angels army has. Okay, so I'll be back in a bit when this guy's got some blonde hair. All right, now that our scout is back from the salon with his nice new blonde hair, we're gonna finish him up. With the base, we're going to do a light dry brushing of... Bestial Brown, and what that's going to do is it's going to give us that red planet, weathered, worn look that I'm going for with my Blood Angels Force. So this is totally optional at this point, but what I do is I put it all, all along the rocks at the base and also along the boots and even the bottom of the pants to make it look like they've been working and fighting a lot in this, in this kind of climate and atmosphere. So this is definitely up to you. If you want, you could also dry brush if you want to go for a more conventional urban look. Then instead of using bestial brown to give it that redness, I would go with denim stone or <coughs> or uh, bleached bone. Anything like that would work. But for me, we're going to use bestial brown all over the rocks at the base and also the boots and like I said, a little bit of the pants. So I'm going to go off and do that and then we'll finish this video up and send these scouts on their way. There you have it, players. A fully painted up, weathered, war-beaten, battle-worn Space Marine Blood Angel Scout. I'm going to leave the shoulder pads bare, not put any iconography on it. I might later put some script with a fine detail brush and a lighter color, probably Deneb Stone maybe. Um, I have not really decided on that yet. I know I definitely want to um, make them stand apart, especially my sergeant here with the power fist and the combi flamer. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, or boss tutorial. And I used the same techniques that I used to paint this one scout that I just went over with to paint all of these boys. I only gave some of them different hair colors. Here's the other blonde in the squad. The other two guys I gave dark brown hair and black. There's a lighter brown for the sergeant and black hair for this one guy. So, uh, if you have a guy with rope, that's this is the only different thing probably. I painted the rope Calvin brown and the little hook bolt gun metal to hook it to his to his belt. But other than that, all of the techniques that I taught you for painting this one scout will do for all of them. And I suggest, oh no, he fell down. I suggest if you have a small enough pin vise or a drill that you drill out the holes of the bolt pistols just to make it look more authentic and realistic and awesome. And yeah, have fun with these guys and I'm gonna probably see if I can pick up another box of five regular Space Marine Scouts and go for the, the combat blade and bolt pistol just because uh, I kind of like the, the idea of using them as a more assaulty kind of force. And if that doesn't work, then oh well. You know, there's 
it, it, it looks cool. I had fun painting them, converting this guy up, and uh, I think they look cool. So if it was any other codex, I'd probably have them equipped with sniper rifles and camping objectives, but <laughs> kind of like the in-your-face manner of these scouts and the way that I painted them kind of makes you pay attention to them when they're on the battlefield and hopefully will uh, take some bullets away from the other elements of my army. There'll be a little little bullet magnet for a turn or two. But thanks for watching. Please leave me some comments and like this video and uh, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and let me know what you'd like to see next. I've got some Malifaux coming up and another Night Lords video and uh, just a whole bunch of stuff. So thanks to all the people who've been commenting. I, I like to read my comments. I like to respond to all of them if you haven't noticed. And um, I really enjoy making these videos when I can. And uh, what else? Oh, I'm saying oh, a lot. So sorry, I'm going to try to cut that down a little bit. The ear infection that I had from thanks to Papa Nurgle slowly going away. So thank you to all the people who've wished me well and and for all the uh, all the nice compliments everybody's been giving me to get well soon. I've uh, it, apparently it's just a really bad ear rupture, eardrum rupture, and um, it was it's just taking a while to heal so still haven't gained my hearing completely back yet but the doctor says should be coming back soon so thank goodness for antibiotics a lot of bed rest and stuff to keep my mind occupied like these Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine scouts all right so thanks for watching this war boss tutorial and we'll see you in the next video